Hello, it's Melissa from Melissa's Creations. And have you ever had a project where you were just like, oh my gosh, that did not turn out how I wanted it to at all. What am I gonna do? I have all these pieces and I don't wanna just waste all this paper. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple of hints, tips, and tricks that you can use to reuse some of that paper that you don't want to waste. So I had made a double slider card and it just didn't glue down the way I wanted it to. The slide function, I glued it incorrectly, so it just was not working. So what I'm actually doing is repurposing the front image from the slider card that I did. I'm just gonna trim off the edge here, trying to get keep as straight of an edge as possible. And then I have a little bit of a curve there, so let's just trim that off a bit. Okay, so now we have a really nice base to work with here. Here's our main image. So my this is for a birthday card for a very special friend, and I wonder if she's watching this, if she can guess who she is. So I am going to, these are some of her favorite colors. She likes really bright things. Teal, of course, is one of those favorites. So I thought these colors would just really look well together and pop. I'm going to do the card base out of this Tempting Turquoise, and I believe it's still a current color. I haven't really um, replenished my Brights paper or ink for that matter, so I really need to get on the ball with that. But I'm just cutting a standard card base of five and a half, and then I'm gonna score it at four and a quarter. And there's my card base. I'm not gonna get rid of my cutter just yet, because as I build on here, I'm gonna put a white mat on top of my card and I want that to be a quarter of an inch shorter on each dimension so I'm going to cut a piece off at four inches and then I'm gonna trim that down to five and a quarter and that will layer nicely right on top here Okay, now just to get an idea of what my card is going to look like, I'm kind of doing this on the fly as I go, and I just wanted to record it so that you guys could kind of see my thinking behind everything. That looks pretty in itself, but I do like the idea of adding some yellow. So because this the length of this is approximately a quarter of an inch or so smaller, so we have a little bit of space here and here, but there's more space on the sides. I think what I wanna do is take a square of the yellow and kind of put it in the middle and skew it, just to give it a little bit of extra fun. So if this here, let's see what this measures. It's approximately just under three inches. So I'm gonna do a four inch square. And to give it a little bit more texture, I'm going to do some background stamping. And I'm just going to bring in my Versamark to give it a watermark effect. And the stamp set I'm going to choose to use that watermark from is perfectly wrapped. This is so much fun. It has so many great sentiments in it. I'm gonna use these polka dots. So I'm just gonna ink that up with some Versamark. And the only thing you're really gonna see is the back, the sides to this paper. And you can, you can't, probably can't even tell. Let me zoom in for you. It's super, super light. It's, you can barely see it on the camera, but in person, it just adds some fun texture. And I am not being careful about the stamping at all because I want it to appear random. All right, let's see how that looks on our card. Before I glue anything down, I do like to place it just so that I can see what it will look like. 
and let's see I think I'll angle my white off of the edge of the white I mean angle my yellow I get those colors confused all the time and I don't know why they're so different see how much fun that is with just that little yellow behind I think that really adds some fun to the card but I am gonna do one more thing I do have some melon mambo ribbon the 1 8 inch stitched ribbon and that coordinates with my melon mambo card base here I am going to take this and wrap it around here just down at the bottom and I'm gonna do a bow I do have to mail this, so I don't want too much dimension, so I'm going to try and tie as flat of a bow as possible. But I am going to add a knot, just because it's going to be easier for me to tie that bow. Maybe I'll just leave a knot. Let's try the bow and see. This is all part of the creative process. You guys are kind of on the journey with me. I love the bows that this ribbon makes. Look at how gorgeous that bow is. Oh, so cute. Okay, I'm gonna trim off my tail. Oops. Okay, now I'm going to start gluing my pieces together. I'm gonna take my bone folder and get that crease nice and flat so my next layer is going to be my whisper white and I'm actually gonna put this on with fast fuse because there are quite a few layers of cardstock and I want to make sure it doesn't fall off with the weight okay we'll just line that up next we'll do our yellow I'm trying to center it and still get okay there we go and finally our last piece now if I was not mailing this I would pop this up with dimensionals but because it has to go in the mail I'm gonna just put the layers flat sadness but that's okay and I'm just going to put one in the middle of that just to make sure it's really, really sticky. And center that on the card, keeping the same amount of white on the top and bottom. And there we go. Super fun card, birthday card that we used with a repurposed card that was just a disaster. It was a hot mess before and we were able to transform it into a fun birthday card that I will be sending out to my friend. Hopefully she can guess who she is. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you want to see more projects, visit my blog, melissascreations.com. You can also subscribe to my channel to be notified of new videos and visit me on Facebook at facebook.com slash mcreations. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you soon.